Always a factor and one you've got to get out. Mark Teixeira. How is he going to affect this ball game? We're here to find out. A contest in the American League East with the New York Yankees in front of their home fans. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, John Crunk, and Steve Phillips. Starting pitcher, Michael Pineda. What is it about this Baltimore lineup that they'll be looking for from him today? Uh, for Michael Pineda, one of the best young live arms in the game. Real good stuff. The ball explodes out of his hand. An explosive fastball and a devastating breaking pitch as well. And a developing feel for a changeup. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. Live 5 and 0. It's another MLB Twitter with my player series. My player series series number 62. Close to 100. And remember what I said about 100? At 100, we will be giving away some more free stuff. So almost there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, definitely check out the Spec Ops videos. Those are really fun. They're really cool. So definitely go check those out. Going up against the Baltimore Orioles in this one. And we've established ourselves as a top dog in the East so far. You know, I mean, we beat up on the teams that we should be beating up on. Even the Boston Red Sox, who last year had a better record than us. So Boston's like, uh-oh, the Yankees are back. But the Baltimore Orioles have just been that blockade that we cannot get by. You know, is keep on putting up a fight. Here you see 1-1 in the fourth field situation. I'm going to be able to field this one. But they've just been that, uh, that blockade that we can't really get them to go our way. Um, here, hitting situation, look at the score. It is 5-1 in the fourth. Could it be our pitching? I don't know. So, in the fourth inning, like I said, no outs. Hitting situation. Get ahead in the counts to go. I'm trying to get on base. I'm trying to make some type of spark happen here. Here's the first uh, try, try to, you know, liven up this offense. Yes, Two-seamer outside, 89 miles an hour. So it's a ball, one ball, and no strike count. Now, at a 1-0 count, I'm thinking he's going to give me something. So what do I got to do? I got to smack it. have life. Still down by three runs with that homer, but maybe some steam going here. It was crazy, baby. Smack that into the... the, 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 the I, I just smacked it. All right. Obviously, this home run is brought to you thanks to Conejo. Definitely go check him out. The link is in the description below. Definitely go check him out, you guys. He's a very good friend of mine. But I absolutely smacked this one. And that's like the best moonshot that I've ever seen in my life. As you guys will see, he tries to give me something outside. I go with it, and I pose for the frame. And this one, I think, went to the upper deck. Like, no, no. It went, went to the second level. Ooh, almost to that upper deck. Went to the second level. But overall, it was just smacked, all right? So... I, th I was hoping that that would liven up my offense, and it actually did. So now there's four to five feeling situation here. This one is going to go right over my head. I still have yet to learn how to jump. Because I've been playing this game for about a year. I've been playing the last game for a year, and there's not a jump button. There's a dive button, but there's no jump button. So if any of you guys have any ideas or any tips like that, let them in the comments if you guys have any ideas. But... Let me talk about, because these, now that we're getting into the heat of the baseball season, let me talk about the winter meetings a little bit. Let me talk about two trades, all right? Let me quickly talk about the Michael Young trade. I think that was a stupid trade. I mean, if you look at Michael Young this, this past year, his numbers are terrible, okay? I feel like I should bring, you know, Charles Barkley in here and be like, that was terrible. It was not good. So, if you're going to bring someone in and give them a starting job automatically, which obviously, obviously they're going to do that to Michael Young, they're going to be very, very disappointed. And people are like, oh, well, if you look at his numbers before that, then they were good. True, but if you look at the numbers for, like, you know, someone who's 85 years old, he's still going to have good numbers. Doesn't mean he can still play. And I think that Michael Young has now reached that point. So, it wasn't a good pickup. But, hey, you know what? That'll happen. Let's quickly talk about Zach Granke going to the Dodgers also. This guy... His, his, he's, he's not as good as he was in Kansas City. I'm sorry, I'm just going to put it out there. His record is good, but if you look at his ERA, his ERAs over the past couple of years have been in the threes. You can't give someone that much money, that amount of years. You just can't do that for someone who has an ERA that, 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 that's that high. You know what I mean? If that kind of deal is structured towards someone that is uh, ace. Zach Greinke, I'm sorry, man, but ever since you left Kansas City, you're not an ace, man. You are not. I'm sorry. Reality check. Living for 5-1-0's reality check. Zach Greinke. 
you're not an ace. All right, you guys, that's it. Definitely hit a like, up, subscribe. Uh, like I said, check out my, my Spec Ops videos, the line. Those are really fun. And uh, let me know if you guys want me to do NBA. I'm 5-0. I'm out.